Hi, and welcome to today's video. In this video, I'm going to cover how to stake Cardano. Now, all you need for this is an app like Coinbase Pro or Binance.us or Coinbase or any other number of exchanges. I'm going to actually demonstrate using Coinbase Pro. And then for the wallet, there's a couple choices you have. You have Eurori Wallet, which is what I have here. And there is also Daedalus Wallet. Now, Daedalus is a little bit more secure and it's also a little bit more complicated to use in this example i like using eurori wallet so i'm going to use this so first i'm going to jump into coinbase pro so now inside i need to head over to the portfolio which is this button right here now you can see i have cardano right here i have 1538 cardano so let's click on that and now we want to withdraw so I'm going to punch in a crypto address because I want to transfer this to Eurori Wallet. So let's click on the address. Now I need to enter the wallet address. So let's head back over to Eurori Wallet. Now when you set up your Eurori Wallet for the first time, you have the option to either set up a Byron error, which is the older um, error wallet, or you're going to set up the Shelly error, which is the most current one as of this time. So once you have your wallet set up, uh, you're going to see it appear right here on the top, like mine here. So I'm going to go ahead and click on my wallet. Now I need to receive. So there's a button down here. You can just hit receive. Now every time you use an address, uh, this wallet automatically generates a new address. So the same address isn't used twice. So you can see right here on the top, I have an unused address. So I'm going to click this copy button. And I'm just going to make a mental note that this wallet address ends in 0x9. So when I head back over to Coinbase Pro, I'm going to enter my address here and go ahead and paste the address and click this uh, address right below it. And you can see it ends in 0x9 and it also verifies right here that is a valid address. So now for the Cardano, I'm going to click here and I'm going to put in the total amount of Cardano up here. So it's 1,538 point. Now the network fee is 0.1 Cardano, so I'm just going to subtract the 0 0.6 and I'm just going to put 0 0.5. And then I'm going to hit withdraw. And it says it doesn't cover the total fees, so let's just change this to 0 0.4. So let's try this again, withdraw. There we go. Now there's a verification code just came in my text message, hit confirm. Your withdrawal has been started so hit done all we're going to need is 10 confirmations so i'm going to head back over to my eurori wallet and when i go back inside my wallet here you can see that the epics are right up here which typically uh, each epic takes about five days to complete and then down here you can see where i have my staking pool delegated we're just going to wait for the available funds to show up okay so as you can see, the ADA already came in. You can see my available funds at 5,300. And when we started this, I was at 3,800. So when I transfer the money in, it automatically gets deposited in and it automatically gets delegated. Now, if you want to choose a different staking pool, the way it works is you can click over here and go to staking center or down here, there's another button called delegate. And what happens is right here, you can see it sorts by score. And what you're looking at here is the saturation rate right here, which is the 0.8%. Here's the total cost, this 2%, plus there's a minimum fee of 340 Cardano. Uh, some staking operators don't charge as much 2%, 1%, 2.5%, 2%. And what those fees are, it helps cover their costs, maybe marketing costs. Sometimes some of these staking pools have charities that they donate to, so the cost can vary from one staking pool to another. Now, those costs aren't your actual costs. They're actually shared amongst the entire group. And then over here is the pledge. So you can see this pledge has put up 100,000 uh, ADA. And this pledge down here has put up a half a million ADA. This pledge right here has put up a million of their own ADA. And the reason why this is important is because you don't want an operator that only has 10,000 or 20,000 ADA uh, pledged because there's not much incentive for them to run the staking pool. And if you want to know more, you can actually click on 
the staking pool and there's more information here so there's other youtube videos which cover how to read all this and how to interpret all this information but i'm just going over how to stake so once you find uh, one you like let's just say it's this first one here you would just hit delegate and then you would choose how much um, ada you'd like to delegate to that i'm going to leave mine alone right now because i currently have mine already staked with the staking pool. This is the average return here. You can see on this one, it's 5.11%, uh, 5.09%, 5.03%. .09 so ROA is return of ADA, essentially. It's like your interest rate, but of ADA. So you actually get, if you look at back at my available funds, you can see my total rewards in the last three months here has been 49 ADA. So hopefully this helps clarify on how to stake ADA. You can use this particular method, whether it's using Coinbase Pro, Coinbase, Binance.us, or any other exchange. Again, if you found this video helpful, appreciate the thumbs up. And if you'd like to be notified of any future videos, feel free to hit subscribe. Thanks and have a great one.